Zechariah chapter 14. Devastation and Rescue of Jerusalem. A day is coming for the Lord when the spoils taken from you will be divided in your midst. And I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem for battle, the city will be taken, houses will be plundered, women raped, half the city will go into exile, but the rest of the people will not be removed from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations, fighting as on a day of battle. On that day God's feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which is opposite Jerusalem to the east. The Mount of Olives will be split in two from east to west by a very deep valley B, and half of the mountain will move to the north and half of it to the south. You will flee by the valley between the mountains, for the valley between the mountains will reach to Azal. Thus you will flee as you fled because of the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah. Then the Lord, my God, will come, and all his holy ones with him. Jerusalem Restored On that day there will no longer be cold or frost. There will be one continuous day it is known to the Lord not day and night, for in the evening there will be light. On that day, fresh water will flow from Jerusalem, half to the eastern sea, and half to the western sea. This will be so in summer and in winter. The Lord will be king over the whole earth, on that day the Lord will be the only one, and the Lord's name the only one. All the land will turn into a plain, from Geba to Rimmon, south of Jerusalem, which will stand exalted in its place from the gate of Benjamin to the place of the first gate, to the corner gate and from the tower of Hananel to the king's wine presses. The city will be inhabited, never again will it be doomed. Jerusalem will dwell securely. The fate of Jerusalem's foes. And this will be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the peoples that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh will rot while they stand on their feet, and their eyes will rot in their sockets, and their tongues will rot in their mouths. On that day a great panic from the Lord will be upon them. They will seize each other's hands, and their hands will be raised against each other. Even Judah will fight against Jerusalem. The riches of all the surrounding nations will be gathered together gold, silver, and garments in great abundance. Like the plague on human beings will be the plague upon the horses, mules, camels, donkeys, and upon all the beasts that are in those camps. The future, Jerusalem, Judah, and the nations. Everyone who is left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem will go up year after year to bow down to the King, the Lord of hosts, and to celebrate the Feast of Booths. Should any of the families of the earth not go up to Jerusalem to bow down to the king, the Lord of hosts, then there will be no rain for them. And if the family of Egypt does not go up or enter, upon them will fall the plague, with which the Lord strikes the nations that do not go up to celebrate the Feast of Booths. This will be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that do not go up to celebrate the Feast of Booths. On that day, holy to the Lord and will be written on the horses' bells. The pots in the house of the Lord will be as the basins before the altar. Every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah will be holy to the Lord of hosts. All who come to sacrifice will take them and cook in them. No longer will there be merchants in the house of the Lord of hosts on that day.